tell of Green, the aeronaut, whose great balloon brought crowds most eager, jostling round the jail ground, where his men helped fill that sack most meagre, with the gas produced from burning coal, with which he rose serenely, gliding past our great cathedral, shrinking in the distance greenly. Now, an ancestor of mine, by name of Edward Slow, wrote down rhymes and stories of local people in their local tongue, including that famous tale of the Wilshire Moonrakers, the which brought him girt fame locally. He also writ some tales he heard from an old Wilshire carrier out Dinton Way, and one of the stories he were told of, and which he did write up in the old Wilshire talk, concerned a time in June of 1847, when the famous aeronaut named Green took off in his balloon from Salisbury Gas Works, where men had been filling his girt sack with coal gas for most of the afternoon. This is what he writ. When I were just turned six, there were a terrible girt talk all round about that a man named Green were going up in a girt balloon at Salisbury. Father and mother, like everybody else, were main excited about it, and twere a sight as nobody had ever seed, and some not even your tell of about round our parts. I well recollect the day, how in early morning, little as I were, I helped father clean the wool cart and shine up Dobbin's harness, and in our base clothes away we went at our dinner towards Salisbury. Father a driving, and mother Polly and I sit inside. There were scores of carriages, wagons, and carts on the road, crowded with folk, all going to see that girt balloon go up. And when we got to Wilton, big little town seemed almost deserted. Everybody pretty nigh gone to see the sight. The road seemed chocked full of people. When we got to where the Vises Road joined the Wilton Road, Gain the county jail, as were then, the folk were thick as hops. You could have walked about on their heads, father used to say, and on every hill and bit of rising ground for miles around as well. Old castle rings, we heard, were crowded with people. And then out in a little field, somewhere near, where the police station now is, the girt big balloon were rising and swaying to and fro, we dozens of men hanging on to the ropes to keep em down, while they pumped the gas unto em. All over the balloon were a girt strong net as hung down we ropes, and on the end of em a girt big thing like a bushel basket were hatched, we bags as and a hanging round. In about an hour or so, everything were ready, and among the cheers and shouts, Master Green comes up, jumped in the basket, and waved his hand for the men to let go, and in a jiffy up shot the balloon, hundreds of yards high, and then gently sailed away in the direction of the Girt Cathedral, with ten thousand pair of eyes a-watching on him. Look, says an excited country chap to his gal, be drat if he won't head up against the spire, for it's making straight for him, look is he. Oh, I do hope I won't hit him down, says she, at which everybody handy busted out laughing a good un, as the balloon were hundreds of feet higher. How's and never, I kept a little to the right of the girt church, and in another ten minutes I seemed bit a little speck in the heavens, and were soon out of sight. We heard a day or two after that I come down safe and sound near Lindhurst in the new forest, the folk soon began to wag, and when twere a bit clear in the road, we were soon jogging back to our village again, father promising to take I into the city another time. All the way home, Polly were in a terrible stud, and scarcely spoke a word, a most unusual thing for she. Mother asked her what she were thinking about, she was so quiet. Why, the car girt balloon, she says. Well, what about them? says father. Why, says she, I can't make out how twere they their folk has tried to get up to heaven, be building the tower of Babel, as we to read of in scripture, didn't have a balloon to go up. We all busted out laughing, and mother says, I specs balloons weren't invented then, Polly. Neat gas neither, says father. 
Sides girt astronomers to say as how life can only exist a few miles up, and if the sun, moon and stars be millions of miles away, what must be the distance twixt heaven and earth? Ah, Polly, tis a girt mystery and puzzle, as no man will ever be able to find out. <laughs> now, apparently, Big Man Green and his colleague had a fine flight down over the New Forest, landing in the garden of Colonel Thornhill at Lyndhurst. And although Vic amazing spectacle of a balloon trip bowed the local people and made Vic Day pretty much a special holiday for him, Mr. Green had done the same trick loads of times. It were the same sort of thing as happened just out of the great 1418 war, when unemployed pilots picked up unwanted aeroplanes and set up doing joy rides from some of the seaside resorts during the summer. It were a girt novelty, really.